Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre and I'm back today with another video. So, as y'all see down below, y'all are finally getting the dorm tour for this year. So, let's just go ahead and hop right into it, okay? So, this is what the room looks like when you first walk in. As soon as you look down, you have the nice little welcome mat. Then, when you turn to the right, ain't nothing fancy, just a refrigerator. You already know the deal. And then on this side, we have like a little closet situation going on. And in here, we just keep, this is like my little bin that I keep all my kitchen stuff in. We have a mop, vacuum broom, and then sometimes we have like random stuff up here. And yeah. And then of course, y'all already know how me and my kitchen be set up. I just be cooking, you know what I be doing. So we have all like the little utensils right there. We have two electric skillets so I can always like make my main and like my side dish at the same time. Then in here, not really much of anything because I be using my own stuff, but just like more community type stuff I like to leave in here. Like you have your measuring cups, all that sort of stuff. Love this to cut any sort of fruit, but yum. Then we have napkins. I really like using these paper towels as compared to like the regular roll paper towel just cause it's easier to pick up. But y'all already knew that, that's the same thing from last year. Sink, we got a dish rack, and then toaster, mini waffle maker, blender, the whole gist, you know. And then of course you just have cabinets. We don't really have much of anything in here. I've been using that for storage for one of my um organizations that i'm in we have like soap and extra stuff down there and then that one also is holding some stuff for one of the organizations i'm in and of course in here we have food um so yeah nothing too deep and then here is the living room from this year everything pretty much looks the same as it did last year just a different setup so here's what it looks like there's new furniture in this unit so the TV stand does look a little different, looks a little bit better. Then we have like a little coffee table. We have these two high chairs. Don't mind the stuff on the couch right now, that's my roommate. And yeah, that's like a little wax melter sort of situation. Um, that's actually like a little DIY Downy Unstoppable air freshener. And I really like it. My room always smells pretty good because of that. And I just like to spray it whenever. And then you come over here and it's just like a little mini walkway. We have a trash can right there, a little air freshener. And then this is my roommate's room. And then this is my room. And here's just a little breaker box. If you saw my room tour from last year, you know the breaker box is actually in my personal room, which I didn't like. So now it being outside the room, so much better. But the breaker box is outside the room. This is my room, we'll get to that later my roommate's room. So same little thing, if you've seen the room tour last year, you know I have the little bathroom stuff, I put it out here. Now I share a bathroom with my roommate, so everything is out here. So I have my, my little mat right there. We have soap and lotion, paper towel. Under there we just keep like extra cleaning supplies and stuff. And then you come to the bathroom, nothing too fancy. We have like a little rack right here. Um, I don't necessarily keep anything out, so that's why there's not much things out, but yeah. And then we have like a little mat and stuff, toilet, all the toilet cleaners and stuff, so everything is just nice and near to you. We have multiple air fresheners in here because you know you gotta keep it smelling good. We have paper, um, not paper towel. We got toilet paper just because, you know, just to have extra on hand at all times. And this is what the actual bathroom looks like. Nothing too fancy. That's my little shower mat that I had before last year, same thing. And then same little deal right here, but I just don't 
necessarily keep much up there. I just put it on there so that when I do take a shower, I can put the stuff in there, but I don't keep nothing out here. And then this is actually something that my roommate added in. It's just like section onto the wall. So yeah. So that's pretty much all like the community stuff, everything that's just like really out there and me and my roommate stuff. But now time to show y'all the room. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know how it was last year if you've seen. If you're not new to my channel, y'all know how the room was last year. It's kind of the same, but we got a little bit of additions to the room. So yeah, let's just get into it. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all, let me show y'all, let me show y'all. into the room I have like a little foot little mat right here it just says blessed because I'm blessed and highly favored you already know what it is don't mind this it's a little heater our look AC heater stuff was broken one time so the housing maintenance people gave me that to make sure that my room was warm and they never came back to get it so I've been using it but it's not like it of course it's safe because housing people gave me that but I will say you check in with what your school allows you to do because I know a lot of schools don't allow heaters but the school gave me this so they just may not get it back until I move out but yeah <laughs> um but yeah don't mind the little heater right here I really don't know where else to put it but I just have like all the hand soaps and stuff for the bathroom I just keep it right there under the desk um but you walk in and as soon as you turn to the left i have my desk ain't nothing too too special just a nice little clear place we have my maiden image made his image thing i y'all i love this tide spray that fabric spray is amazing especially after cooking if you cook something that has like a lot of smells that will get it out super quick um and of course i have my little lights out because you know we still in the panoramic and this is just where I like to keep my bag just out the way of most of everything. A lot of random stuff right there. And then here's where I put my dresser this year. So nothing too fancy. I have my air purifier, my printer, my little light box. That is my air diffuser or oil diffuser. And then back there, I just keep a lot of random sauces or whenever I need a sauce. I will never have nothing that is dry up in this room. And then my vitamins, because that's the first thing I eat in the morning. So I keep it right here because it's super quick to reach. Deodorant, because you cannot be stinking. You already know the vibes. Then under the desk, I have, I don't know if this is the nightstand or what, but whatever it is, I keep this under there. And of course, same thing like how it was last year. I got my water. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a big thing of water back there and then I have all my cooking oils and extra sauces down here um the only thing I want to show y'all for the dresser is this thing I'm not sure if I showed it to y'all last year but my bottom drawer I like to keep food in just because like it's just a nice little storage place so just want to show y'all how you can use different things for things that you probably wouldn't normally use then I have shoes right here. Usually whatever shoes I've been frequently wearing throughout the week, I'll keep right here because it's right, like it's just easy to come in the room, kick them off, and then stand on like the rug or whatever. Then this is my nightstand that I actually use next to me, but I think this is actually for under the desk or next to the desk and not for over here, but I like it over here. So I just have my little alarm clock. I have my water bottle. I have all my devices, chargers. I have, um, what is this called? I have like nail clippers and stuff in here because one thing about me, if I have a hangnail, I gotta cut that thing off ASAP. I cannot keep it throughout the day. So I keep that right next to me. So if I ever need to cut anything at night, I can. Then right here, you already know, I got my black clean, my shrines, my black clean because we love our black queens over here then over here is where i decided to put the string lights or fairy lights i don't know what you would call these but um i guess fairy lights could work 
but this is where I decided to put it this year right above my bed and this is the bed spread it's the same thing as it was last year don't mind my little satin bonnets and scarves and stuff you already know got to keep the hair hydrated and not dry throughout the night um then i just have a throw blanket and since it is december and the colder months right now i have another blanket because i do tend to run colder than many other people then i come to the bottom of the bed and this is where i decide to put the trunk this year and a lot of the stuff in the trunk is just like my laundry stuff and things that i frequently have to use at least once a week so since i'm not accessing it too too much i just keep it right here i put the cover over it then i have my tray that i usually end up using for any meal that i'm eating in the room and i have some detergent because it can't fit in there so yeah then when you look up I have my hustle grind execute because as soon as I walk in the room, I know that when I come in this room, I need to hustle, I need to grind, I need to execute and get this work done. Then you come over here in this little slick corner that I got going on. I keep my ring light, the stand for the ring light, and then my umbrella just so it's out the way. And then right in front of that, this is my little cart. So like how y'all saw, I, I told y'all I don't really have much of anything in the actual bathroom everything stays right here so i have my toothbrush my mouthwash my soaps my extra hand soap if i'm running out of soap uh body butter scrubs floss acne patches acne treatments everything that you can need my towel my rag my um just everything so i really like this because i can just roll it out there roll it back in and we only have one sink, so it's not like, okay, if my roommate is over there, I can still get what I need to get done because all my stuff is right there. I don't have to like, oh, excuse me, can I get right there? Whatever sort of vibe. So I really like keeping everything right here. And since, you know, since we share a bathroom, you never know like who else is coming in the room. And I don't need nobody sneezing on my toothbrush. So. That's kind of like why I like to keep all my stuff in here. Just a little bit more sanitary to me. So yeah. Then I have my TV up there. PlayStation. And then of course you already know I have my little snack area. So I got some snacks going on. And then just miscellaneous stuff. That's like all my health and sanitizer and stuff like that sort of thing. And then this one. I don't necessarily touch this one as much. But this has like command strips and stuff in it then we have this little thing that really has just a lot of random stuff a lot of this is mainly things i pick up once a month so it doesn't necessarily get seen or touched that much but i like it so yeah um then i just keep some juices right here and this is right here honestly because there really is nowhere else to put it like in this room although we do have new furniture a lot of our furniture it's like less space than what i had in my room before so it just doesn't fit nowhere so it stays right there um but yeah then i have my step ladder right there and a little mini ironing board then i have my mini fridge right here you already know I don't really keep too too much of anything in here, but I like it because I could like put a little water in here or something. If I need a quick snack, it's right here and I don't have to worry about going all the way out of my room. Um, then I have this little bowl that I usually keep fruit in, but I don't have no fruit because I'm going home tomorrow. Random snacks and stuff stay up there. Then you know I got my God Goes Grind and my God is within me. I would not fall, I would not fail and my mirror is right here because this is the first thing that i want to see when i wake up i want to be aligned with my faith and what i believe in so that's why i like putting that right there then you come over and i have this little whiteboard right here i'm gonna be honest with y'all this hasn't been touched since the spring semester of last year so but it's a vibe and maybe i will use it i don't know but since i had it in my room last year and I literally just transferred room to room. I didn't even go room to home to room. It's here. Then I have this thing right here that I just keep my laundry bag on. I have three jackets right here because like I said, it is a little bit colder outside. And of course, we're still in the panoramic, so I keep my mask right there um, just to hang while I'm in the room. 
Um, then I have my closet, which we're not gonna really get into too much, but I have my closet, all my clothes, showing y'all that you can use things for different types of storage. So I have all like my snacks and stuff up there. And then just like a little organizer with all sorts of extra stuff behind the door. Then we get back over here and this is just my little mirror that I love to just look into while I'm getting dressed or whatever to see what is the full fit looking like from head to the toe. But y'all, aside of that, this is my room. It's pretty much, like I said, a lot of the same stuff as I had last year because I just moved from one room to the next room and I did a lot of decorating last year on my own. So there wasn't like much more to decorate this year. And my room this year is smaller. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but my room this year is smaller. So it wouldn't have made sense to like bring in more decorations or do much changing because I really do like what I bought for my room last year. This is what the room looks like at night. I just had to show y'all because it is a vibe. We do have a new addition. I did get LED lights this year. I, I put the LED lights up this year. So this is the little vibe that you get in the room. It's, it's cute, it's really cute. Like you can actually sit and study and do work without much of any overhead light at all. And if anything, sometimes I usually come in and I'll turn on the little desk lamp. And then this is definitely, it's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe for sure. Okay y'all, so thank you for watching my room tour for my third year here at the University of Georgia. Y'all, my time is running out and I'm kind of sad about it, but at the same time, I'm ready to start working in the field that I want to work in. I'm ready to start to like do things that I'm really passionate about. So it's like a bittersweet sort of situation. But if y'all have any questions about living on campus, let me know down below or also just let me know if you have any questions about living off campus as well because I can find some people to answer that and just give y'all my take on on campus versus off camp. What, did I just say off campus or the off campus? <laughs> but I can give y'all my take on on campus versus off campus because that's a pretty big debate that a lot of people go about and there are a lot of things that people don't necessarily think about on both sides of that. So yeah, let me know if y'all want a video about that or just have any questions about it down below and I'll be free to either make a video about it or answer them. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video comes out. And remember that I love you all so, 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 so much. And my name is Sincerely Dree and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.